Mr. Smith is a very good detective. His colleagues nicknamed him Mr. Food. Uh, you probably know why, but the real reason isn't that obvious. Follow the detective. You might be surprised. Mr. Smith had an unlucky morning. Terrible hair right there. No time for breakfast. Well, you know what your mama always says. And it started raining as he left the house. Ah, oh, what else happened? On his way to the office, Detective Smith got a call. There was an accident. Ooh, interesting. A TV fell on a car. It was parked near an apartment building. It totally smashed the car. Look at the arrows. Smith interviewed the tenants. Only three people were home at the time. Tiffany said, It's awful and irresponsible, but it wasn't me, of course. I just got home. And Sean said, I couldn't do it, really. My arm's broken. I can't use it at all. It's a super annoying. And John? It was my car. Why would I do that? I just got it a month ago. At least I have insurance. Detective Smith spotted the liar. Who was lying? Let's find out. It was Sean. He said his right arm was useless. But look. His fork and cup are on the right side, sneaky. He ate with his right hand. Smith got to the office. Yeah, breakfast at La man. The detective got another call. Fast food emergency. A man was poisoned by a burger. The detective arrived and interrogated everyone. I can't say who did it, not one of my staff, that's for sure. I had nothing to do with it. I was cleaning the toilets with bleach all morning. Then I washed my hands and went on break. Alright guys, ready, Italian accent coming up. I don't forget that this had never happened before. I'm a super careful and I always wash my hands before cooking. I got it! What happened? What's the cook holding? Is that pasta? It was an accident! Just an accident. The cleaner finished bleaching the toilets. He washed his hands. And he must have left some bleach on the tap. The cook must have touched the tap, then started cooking. All right, time to eat, time to... And Smith got a call at dinner time. This guy is going to be hungry. It was the criminals who robbed a bank yesterday. That's odd. They told him where to find the bank manager. They had kidnapped him to get the bank codes. Ooh, like in that movie. Smith set off right away to the creepiest looking house ever. He found the manager in the basement of an old house. They kidnapped me to get the codes. No food or water. It was horrible. I bet. I mean, you know, apart from that piece of banana, they gave me it yesterday. That's it. I told them the code. What else could I do? Oh, no, you don't. Detective Smith didn't believe him. Why? We've seen this riddle before. Do you remember? Look at the banana. He said he ate a piece of it yesterday. But the banana should be brown by now. X-Files music, nice. The manager is lying for some reason. Maybe all the cash in his hand. Back at the office. Mmm, hot soup. But wait. 
this time. It's a call from a hotel. Ah, he's so busy today. And look at his eyes. He's starting to freak out. One of the guests was found unconscious in his room. Mr. Smith arrived at the hotel. Hotels always got tons of clocks. He checked the surveillance cameras in the hotel corridor. Only three people came up to the victim's door. The detective interrogated all three. I came to Bob to ask for my money. He had borrowed it to bet on a football game. I came over to Bob's to watch football. We got room service. Football and sushi. Football and sushi. I went straight home after the game. I wanted to clean the room, but the door was locked. Pretty normal. Detective Smith arrested one of them. Da 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 da. Who did he arrest? It's getting epic, the music now. More and more epic. And let's go. The detective arrested Chris because he lied. Smith saw that only three people came to Bob's room. He lied about the room service. No sushi. Smith got another call in the car. Man, this guy is going crazy today. It was from Mrs. Sean. They found Mr. Sean in the basement. Let's see if he's okay. He is not okay. With a knife in his back. What a day. Yeah, tell me about it, man. The basement had no windows and the door was locked. Only three people had the keys. Mrs. Sean, the nanny, and the chef. The detective interrogated them all. All right, let's try a new accent. I was making dinner, Chinese noodles. I heard the nanny screaming and rushed over. It's dark down there, so I turned on the light. I saw the nanny and Mr. Smith. I went down to the basement. I saw Mr. Sean's body and I screamed. I just got home and found out what happened. Who did the detective suspect? Not a good accent for the wife, sorry guys. Alright, let's see who did it. That nanny, of course. The cook said he had to turn on a light. So how did the nanny see the body? Busted! ba 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 busted Brutal day. Smith was tired and hungry. And I'm gonna take a... Aw, oh, man, another call. This guy's starving by now. This time, it all went down at the local cafe. Smith headed over there. Maybe he can get some dinner. You called? Yeah, I came for dinner. This place is amazing. I know the owner and his wife. I sat down. The kitchen door was open. Weird. I peeked in and saw them both lying on the floor unconscious, so I called you immediately. Just stop. What a ridiculous lie. Man, he's grumpy because he didn't have dinner. What was the lie? I don't think the detective should be so fat if he's never eating his food. The witness said the kitchen door was open. But that type of door shuts automatically, right? Restaurant door. The witness is hiding something, probably again about the cash. You spent the day with Mr. Smith. Luckily, he didn't have time to try his soup, yet because it looked nasty. So, why is he called Mr. Food? It's rain and food! Did you get it? It's not because he eats a lot, that's for sure. Somehow, his cases always involve food. Weird, right? Hey, do you have a nickname? My friends call me Riddler. I guess you know why. Share your nicknames in the comments.